All right, guys, you may have heard a lot about Bitcoin in the news again. A lot of big things happening with Bitcoin. So I wanted to go back and revisit a few predictions that I made a few months ago, see how those predictions have panned out, and make some new predictions about what you should do with your Bitcoin holdings going forward. So you can see in the background here, I released this video a few months ago called Why Bitcoin is Worthless Garbage. Unexpectedly, it became one of the most viewed videos on my channel, uh, and it got about 50,000 views so far. But it was also, also one of the most controversial videos there were about 600 likes but nearly 500 dislikes so obviously a lot of people didn't really like this message so i could see there's a lot of people who thought it would go up a lot of people that thought it would go down a lot of people that think bitcoin is great some that think it's terrible so two months later now that we have the benefit of hindsight let's see what has happened so this video was released on April 8th. All right, so let's see where the price of Bitcoin was when I released this video and where it's at right now. So on April 8th, when I released that video, the price of Bitcoin was near its all time high, $57,800. You go to today and you can see the Bitcoin price today is about $32,000. If you had Bitcoin at that time and you held it and didn't take my advice, you would have lost half your money. And if you had taken my advice, you could have avoided that 50% loss. Now, this alone is reason to not buy Bitcoin. Of course, maybe I just got lucky picking this time period. It might have gone up temporarily before eventually going down. But I do think just the possibility of a 50% loss in two months means that this isn't really a good investment. Now, of course, the stock market can sometimes experience losses like this. For example, in the 2020 stock market, Market crash it experienced a pretty similar loss but the difference of the stock market is that you know that's going to eventually go back up you know the fed is going to bail you out you know that eventually probably within a few months the stock market will recover everything it lost with bitcoin maybe that will happen but there's no guarantee there's no fed to bail you out so if you lose money on bitcoin there is a chance that this loss could become permanent you cannot take the chance of a 50 percent permanent loss if you're serious about making money if you're going to take the chance of loss you only want to take the chance of temporary loss and you want to have the fed behind you to bail you out whenever things go wrong so that's one reason why you shouldn't buy bitcoin why i still feel that bitcoin is worthless garbage but the even more important reason than the temporary price decline is this now, you guys may have heard about this. AfriCrypt, one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges, recently had the owners disappear with 2.5 billion pounds, which is $3.5 billion in the biggest cryptocurrency theft in history. Now, I talked about a few of these cryptocurrency thefts in the past, Mt. Gox and a few of the other big ones, but those ones only stole hundreds of millions, and that is now small potatoes compared to the amount of Bitcoin people are stealing these days. Let's look at what happened in this article. So, according to the Sun Crypto Mystery, Bitcoin Trader bro Brothers vanished with 2.5 billion pounds or $3.4 billion in the biggest crypto theft in history after claiming platform was hacked. Two South African brothers who launched a Bitcoin business from their bedroom and gathered 2.5 billion pounds in funds have vanished in what is suspected to be the biggest crypto heist in history. Raiz and Amir Kaji, 21 and 17 respectively, have been missing since April when their trading platform was shut down over an alleged cyber attack. Now, a couple things I want you to notice from this story. Number one, the amount. $3.4 billion or 2.5 billion pounds. Any currency where you can steal billions and get away with it, as these guys likely will, is an unacceptable store of value. This is probably only the beginning because we can see a trend of increasing Bitcoin thefts over time. Maybe the next one will be for $5 billion or $10 billion or $20 billion. Who knows what the risk really might be of theft when you're holding Bitcoin. That's the first thing you got to notice. But here's the second thing you got to notice. The guys who stole these billions were 21 and 17. A teenager, someone who hasn't even finished high school yet, stole 2.5 billion pounds, $3.4 billion worth of Bitcoin. And this is the other thing that should be really concerning. So these guys, they're very young and they're obviously much more sophisticated financial criminals out there. Seeing that a teenager was able to steal this much is gonna inspire a lot of other thieves to step up their games and more sophisticated thieves will probably steal even more. And you can see just looking from these guys and look at the type like the type of guys who are partying going to the clubs a lot they don't look like the most sophisticated financial criminals in the world those guys are about to jump into bitcoin crime right now and they're probably going to steal even more than three billion dollars now here's another part of the story that i want to point out here so 
What happened was that the brothers who stole the money, the KG brothers, kicked off staff off Apper Crips, the Bitcoin exchange, back-end programmers, seven days before the alleged attack. Now, this is another detail of the story that makes it really egregious to me. JP Morgan Chase or Wells Fargo would never say, all right, guys, nobody can log into the system anymore. Only the CEO can log in. I'm going to be doing some transactions with these billions. None of you guys have access to it. It just can't happen, which is why there's never been a theft of this scale of US dollars from a major bank. But this type of thing happens all the time with Bitcoin, which is why Bitcoin is not a safe store of value. Any dollar you put in Bitcoin is at a huge risk of theft from increasingly increasingly large heists like this in the future. So I just wanted to point a few things like that out. So if you held Bitcoin and if you've lost half the value of your money, I would like you to reconsider your position again, given the events of the past few months. You've already lost half your money from the time I made the first video, and there's no guarantee that it's coming back. Maybe it comes back, or maybe it doesn't, but I feel like events like this are actually the more important development. If somebody can steal $3 billion, if teenagers can steal $3 billion in a single heist, then the currency has no future, and you should sell right now. So this is just more proof that Bitcoin is worthless garbage. So if you agree with me, would love to hear a comment down below. Let me know why you feel that nobody should buy Bitcoin and why it might even need to be shut down by the government. If you don't agree with me, if you're a Bitcoin bull, I would also like to hear your perspective as well. Let me know why you feel that Bitcoin is a good investment, despite what you're seeing on your screen right here, teenagers stealing billions of Bitcoin in a single heist. Would love to hear your thoughts on that. So leave me a comment below and I'll talk to you guys next time.